again and welcome to another of my exciting videos. Today I'm going to be talking about my Hegner fret saw. Now this fret saw I bought uh, 1999 I think it was so it's over 20 years old but unfortunately the bellows that's this piece down here has worn out and needs replacing. Now in case you don't know what the bellows does it's just a little uh, plasticky bellows piece which is compressed by the arm. I'll just turn the machine on so you can see what happens. And as you can see, it, the bellows goes up and down, and then it's got a little pipe here which is connected to the top arm and this tube. And what it does, in effect, is it blows the sawdust away from the cutting line. Uh, unfortunately, as you can hear it flapping, this bellows is worn out. I'm just going to turn it off because so you can hear me speak. The bellows is worn out. Now, looking on Hegner's website, they do sell these bellows as a spare part, but unfortunately they want over £30 for it, plus post and packing, which I believe is about three or four pounds on top. And I thought, well, it's a lot of money for that, so I did have a go at mending it. I'll just take it off and show you. you know, it just pushes on, actually. This one's a bit... Um, it's gone very stiff. I can't get it off now. Came off the other day, a piece of cake. It's always the same in it when you've got the camera going, it won't work. There we go. Right, here we go. Now there's the bellows, and as you can see I've tried to mend it. I put some tape around it and a cable tie to hold it on. But as you can see, look, it's splitting. It's just gone all brittle. It's gone all around here, and it's absolutely had it. And uh, I need a replacement, but I didn't fancy paying 30 odd pounds. Now fortunately, I'm in a, a, a web forum called UK Workshop. I've mentioned it before in some of my other videos, by the way. And a, a nice gentleman in there called Colin recommended that you can get a bellows on eBay which does the same job and is possibly better. And so thanks to Colin I actually ordered one and it arrived today. And I'll just show you the part now because it's just here. This is the part. This is the bellows that I've got off eBay. I'll put it down by the other one so you can see the difference. Now obviously this one is compressed a little bit because it's been on the saw. But you can see this is very flexible. Uh, and the maker of this uh, suggests that it's far superior to this one. It gives a better better airflow and also it lasts longer because it's more flexible. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on the saw and just show you how it fits on and how it works afterwards. So let's have a go at this then. Okay, so now I'm going to try and put this one on. It's going to be a bit of a fiddle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this tabletop off, my sacrificial table off, because it will make it easier to get into it, won't it? Should have done that in the first place, shouldn't I really? I never thought about it. Right, all you got to do really is just squash this around the bottom piece. It looks a bit of a fiddle, but I expect it'll be easy enough. It's like a lot of things, you know, you you fiddle about and eventually it goes on. I'm strong fingers for this, I think. There you go, it's going on. Oh, that's it. Oh, that wasn't too bad, was it? Well, I've got the bottom piece on anyway. Now it's just a question of getting this piece in. This piece doesn't want to go in. Whoops. I'll be withering a moment, folks. It's just a bit of a struggle getting this on. Sorry if I'm in the way of the camera. Oops. It's a bit fiddly. You can't get in there, but it'll, it's going on. It's nearly there, folks. I've nearly got it on. It's nearly there. And that's it. I think I've done it. Okay, there you are. That's the bellows fitted in place. Now all we've got to do is switch it on and see if it works all right. Oh, that's better. Just see. Uh, it's smoother anyway. I'll just get a bit of sawdust and put on there and check. What I'll do, I'll cut a bit of wood. That's the best thing, isn't it? See if it blows the sawdust away. I'll just cut this bit of wood to see if it blows the dust away. And it seems to be keeping it clear of the cutting line, so. Yeah, that's working. Oh, there's a bit of sawdust. I'll just put a bit of sawdust on so I can see if it works. Yeah, that's working all right. Well, there you are, folks. Uh, one bellows fitted. I'll turn that off now. Can you speak? One bellows fitted. Uh, it cost me £19.50. That was including pre post and packing. Uh, but I think it's a pretty successful job. So. I'll, I'll put a link into the end of the video so that if anybody else wants to order one of these from eBay, you'll know where you can get one from. I think the company was called something like 
Oz, Ozzy at Tools or something like that. But um, I will put the link there anyway. Well, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you're wondering where my video about the conversion the wife's bike to electric has got to, uh, I haven't forgotten about it. I'm still waiting for the parts to arrive. I was told originally it'd be between two and four weeks. It's now been four weeks. I did have an email last week from the people involved saying that the parts were in Up's warehouse, but they've got a backlog and can't get them out apparently. So I, I have no idea when I should be getting them, but hopefully it will be sooner rather than later because the wife's getting a bit fed up of pedaling up these steep hills, I can tell you. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.